Hello and welcome to the first ever video on the Beauty Box YouTube channel. So my name is Emily, I am the creator of this excellent brand. Uh, yes, so it's very, very, very good to see this, my ideas and visions materialising into, yes, some content, finally. So yes, let's get into the video. So today we're going to do a really simple sort of sit down tutorial with um, our lovely model Pamela who is a 46 year old secondary school teacher so she is fitting right into our sort of target demographic. Um, for those of you who don't know what Beauty Box is, it is a new makeup platform which eliminates all the work out of makeup shopping. Because we know, you know, as a woman, we have very busy lifestyles, you know, we don't have time to be trading around shops looking for a new concealer on a Saturday afternoon, you know, we've got better things to be doing. So this brand takes all the work out of that for us. So what happens is, so you download our app from the App Store, um, you'll then like hold it up and you'll scan your face. Uh, so this will pick out all the features of your face, so for example, your skin type, your skin colour, your contour depths, everything that sort of counts towards making the best face of makeup possible. And then it will hand pick products that I know are gonna fit your face and suit your face best. Um, it'll offer you three looks, so it'll offer you a natural glam, a full glam, and a seasonal look. Um, so you have the option of which one you'd like to pick. And then it actually goes one step further into digitally layering the finished look onto your face. So you'll actually see through the app what everything will look like once the makeup look is finished, which is great, you know, it completely takes out all the hard work. You know, you're not buying something and being uncertain whether it's gonna suit you or not. You're not wasting your money, you're getting a good guaranteed makeup look at the end of it. So, enough of the bar and stuff, let's get into the video. So, yeah. so we are going to start off with the primer. Uh, this is a step that tends to be missed out of, of quite a lot of people's makeup routine. However, it is pivotal for your makeup lasting throughout the day. Having a good base, a good foundation for your makeup to sit on is extremely important. So. Yes, different primers do different things, but because of Pamela's skin type, this is going to be a moisturising primer to kick off the makeup routine. So, moving on to foundation. We are going to be using a stick foundation today, which are a popular makeup trend at the minute. They can create a very full coverage base without it being sort of matte and flat, it can still have a very dewy finish, but keep the coverage there as well. They're extremely easy to blend in, and you literally, as you can see, are just drawing on your face and blending it in with a sponge or a brush or whatever you prefer, and it really keeps that full coverage base intact. So obviously the coverage of your foundation depends on what final look you're going for, but as this is a full glam, we are keeping it quite high coverage. So moving on to concealer now, the facial recognition scan detected that Pamela did have quite a lot of darkness underneath her eyes, so therefore produced quite a full coverage concealer in order to hide that. So the concealer has a balm-like formula, so a little goes a very long way with it. So which is just applying this underneath her eyes, you can blend this with your fingers or with the sponge or the brush, whatever your preference is, and that just really hides everything the foundation couldn't quite cover and really works towards that full glam effect that we're aiming for. So now we're going to set the face using a luminance powder. So a very common mistake people can make in their makeup routines is completely overdoing it with the powder and taking all that nice dewiness out of the face and the powder setting it completely down matte. Now we don't want to do this, we want to keep the skin looking youthful. So this powder has got a touch of natural sheen in it to keep the, keep the face looking dewy, but still setting everything in place so it's not gonna move around throughout the day. So 
So moving on to bronzer now, this is another product that can completely change the appearance of someone's face. Uh, this is another product from e.l.f. So as you can see, Pamela's going to apply this in the sort of hollows of her face, you know, her cheekbones, temples, and this was all picked up on the facial recognition scan. Her contours aren't too deep, so she just needs a little dust on each side to sculpt the face and make it look a bit more finished off. Again, this bronzer has a touch of sheen and radiance in it to add to the youthful look. So moving on to eyes now, we've brought you a bit closer so you can see what she's doing. So we are going to create a full look using this one palette. This is, has a neutral colour scheme but it can create some really glam looks. So the rule of thumb with eyeshadow is to start light and build up. So here Pamela is just using a neutral transition colour in the crease of the eye and then she's going to build up from dark to light going from the outer corner to the inner corner. So this is all made very clear in the online tutorial provided with the box and breaks it down step by step. So once she's finished with the transition colour, as I said, she will be using a darker brown to just add some shape and definition to the eye before using the gold shimmer shade in the palette, which is just as effective applied with the finger or you can use a brush, whichever you prefer. So yeah, you can literally use three colours and create a really full glam eye look. It doesn't have to be really complicated or extravagant, it can still look really effective with a small amount of shades. What's really important to remember as well is to keep blending. Blend everything you put on your eyes, blend the transition, blend the dark colour, blend the shimmer shade, blend everything together to just make it all nice and smooth, all looks how it's supposed to, all as one and you'll get the most effective eye look if you just keep blending. So we are going back to the base now, and there's actually a highlighter shade in the eyeshadow palette. So Pam has just taken some on the side of her beauty sponge and just gonna dab that on the high points of her face, her cheekbones, bridge of her nose and cupid's bow. So this is a really easy step to really bring out the glamour in your makeup look and makes it look ready for a party. Just add in a touch of mascara to the eyes now, a relatively simple step. To achieve the desired full glam look you want to be looking for a mascara that volumises rather than lengthens or separates but it's really personal preference with mascara. Dipping back into that palette now, we are going to use it to fill in the brows. So as you can see, Pamela is going to mix a couple of the brown shades and just really lightly fill them in, just follow the natural shape of your brow. Doesn't need to be too heavy or extravagant, but doing this can make a real difference to the face. So just, yeah, follow the natural shape, Keep try and keep them fluffy, and yeah, this will really bring out and finish off your eye makeup look as well. And we are nearly done, so we're just going to add a little something to the lips. We are going to be using a lip gloss today, just because this really brings out the glamour in a makeup look. You know, it's quite fun, a bit more exciting than just your standard matte lipstick. However, depending on your scan, you might have been sent a matte one, which is completely fine as well. So yeah, we're just going to apply this all around the lip area, just to finish off the look. Another step people often miss out is setting spray. So this is gonna lock all that makeup into place, make it look more skin-like and natural, and give it the lasting power throughout the night. So this is it, the finished makeup look. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And for information on how to get your very own beauty box, head to the app store and download our app. Thanks so much for watching, see you soon.